McKinsey consultants and employees give thousands upon thousands of presentations each year, either to clients or to potential new clients. And if you know anything about them, you know that they are held to an incredibly high standard because they charge very high rates for their work. But creating professional presentations like they do can be extremely time consuming and it requires you to have good design skills already. But what if you could generate McKinsey level slide decks in minutes instead of hours without having a degree in graphic design? Well, you absolutely can. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create stunning presentations without needing a design degree or having endless revisions. And we're going to do it all using AI. Now I started my career in consulting with Accenture and we often got to see the work that was created by the big guys like McKinsey and Bain and BCG before we got there. We got to see the presentations that helped us to actually win the work. And it was obvious that one of the things that helped them to earn those very high rates was their ability to create presentations that helped explain their ideas simply to their clients and to their potential clients. And now you can create presentations on that level using AI. I'm working a presentation for my membership and I want to talk about the impact of AI on creativity in 2025 and beyond because the creatives that I serve are nervous about what it means for their future. So I want to see what ideas I can get from AI. This is very meta, right? We're going to go into the Pictochart AI generator and we will create the framework of my presentation. Then we'll work through some examples and some quick revisions so you can see how fast it is to make changes within the presentation. And then we'll go through how do we make some additional visuals to help reinforce the message. So let's get started with using the AI generator to get a framework for our presentation. We're going to choose create with Pictochart and we are going to choose a presentation. And because this is my membership group, we're going to choose creative idea as our presentation. And we already know the topic is impact of AI on creativity and creatives in 2025 and beyond. Now here we can give it a little bit of additional context so that it will create the best presentation for us. We're going to tell it to be encouraging to creatives and we are going to generate our creative ideas. Now, as this is thinking, it's going to give me a quick view of the different types of presentations, the different styles that I can choose from. So I can click those even before the text is generated so I can get a good sense of what might work. So let's scan through here and see what we have. This looks like a great framework to start out with. It has a lot of different visuals, a lot of images and some different images images with text that we can use. So we're going to go ahead and save and edit our creative idea. And for now, let's take a peek at the topics and see if the topics make sense. What's really cool too, is that it's already generated images for me. It's inserted images that it thinks might be relevant to the topic. So it gives me some ideas of things that I can use or things that I could replace it with. So what are our topics? We have our introduction, AI's impact, creative adaptation, the future of creativity, and a summary. Now these all seem like great topics. So I can use these and I can flesh them out a little bit more later in something like chat GPT. But here I can go through and see what bullet points it's created to help spark my ideas for how I want to present this idea. At this point, the next things that I will need to do are change my colors and change my images and change any other details within the presentation that I would like. I'm going to show you some simple things that we can do so you can see how fast you can make these changes. So let's say that I don't love this color scheme. I can go into the color colors and I have options that are already mixed that I can use or I can choose my own. Let's say that we really like these pops of yellow. We think that that's really going to resonate with the audience. So we can change it to that. And then we can simply start changing out the images that we have. So we have this image here. Let's go into our graphics and we can go into the photo library. So we can use Pictochart stock library here. And let's choose something that is an art gallery. I really want to start this with more traditional creative mediums. We've got a bunch of great images of art galleries. This one has the nice yellows. So let's use that. Now let's change this one out as well. I'm thinking this would be great if it was paintbrushes. Two super quick changes on images and I can continue to go through and make those changes all throughout the presentation. Now if I want to change the text, simple to do, I can change the type of text, I can change what the content is, I can also change out these little images as well. This isn't very legible so let's go ahead and change our color of our font. We're going to change that to black 
black so that we can actually read what's on the page. And it looks like we might have some other challenges there. So we would go through and change those. Really sticking to minimal color palette here. I like using those pre-made palettes because they won't overwhelm the presentation. Now, one thing that I really wanted to include in this presentation is a Venn diagram showing that there can be an intersection of creativity and AI. And I know that Pictochart will allow me to create that. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this page and I'm going to remove a lot of the elements so that I have a more simple page, but I have some of the colors on it already. I'll remove some of this text to make space for this image. And then I will go into these design components and you can see there are a lot of different things that I could do. I can get some really interesting graphics and I can change the topic. So these would be great to have quotes within your presentation. I can use data and metrics. This would also be great to add any information that we think is really important rather than in just a bullet point. These graphics highlight it so much better. But I know that I am looking for a diagram and a chart because I'm looking for a Venn diagram. Great. I found one that is perfect because we simply want to illustrate that between the overlap of AI and human creativity, there is a great place that those two can meet. Now that we have this chart, we're able to edit it. We can edit our words. We can edit our colors. We can remove parts of it very quickly and we could use the colors within our color palette so that it matches our presentation perfectly. Now, I'm not sure exactly what I want it to say in the intersection of the Venn diagram. So this is a great place for me to leverage something else like ChatGPT to help me further create that great presentation at that McKinsey level. So I'm going to head over to ChatGPT and I'm going to tell it to act as a McKinsey consultant and give me the best labels for a Venn diagram showing the overlap of human creativity and AI. ChatGPT does really well when you tell it to act as something because it knows what the output is that you're looking for. Human creativity, the right circle, artificial intelligence, just like we did. And the middle, we're going to say amplified creativity. That's great. So we will add some text and I want that to be on the vertical axis. So I'm going to go ahead and shift that that way. And I'm going to fit that into the middle of that Venn diagram. So you can see how simple it is to create an image that will really help to deliver your message within Pictochart and leverage additional AI tools to help simplify the process of delivering your message in the most effective way. Now, the balance of creating this presentation would be making sure that I don't have too many words on the page. I want to make sure that my visuals and my bullet points really drive my points home. So I would go through and make those changes and then my presentation will be ready. Once I'm finished with my presentation, I can download it in multiple formats. I can download it in a PowerPoint format. I can download it as a PNG or a PDF so that I can use it in any of the different tool sets that I might want to going forward. And then it's ready for me to share with the world. So now you know how to make a killer presentation using AI. But if you haven't actually done hundreds of presentations before, and if you're not a natural at public speaking, you still need to know how to really present and convey that information well. So in the next video, I walk you through exactly what you need to do to give a killer presentation. So even if you're just starting out, you'll have a solid framework to take and use in your next presentation to absolutely kill it and make your best impression on the crowd. I'll see you over there.